Welcome back to another Habs Nation video with the hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchie. Is Jacob Fowler the Montreal Canadiens goaltender of the future? When Jacob Fowler skated onto the ice for the first game of the World Junior Summer Showcase on July 29th, people noticed. The last time anyone saw him on the ice, he was throwing his plain white mask onto the ice after winning the Clark Cup. But here he was with the United States, donning a totally new look. He had a blue and gold Iron Man theme mask with white, maroon, and yellow pads to match his new team, the Boston College Eagles. Fowler wouldn't call himself a comic book fan, but that he just loved the design. But soon, could Fowler be tasked with saving the crease for the Montreal Canadiens? Have they found their long-term solution in the post carry Price era? There are many reasons to get excited about Fowler if you're a Habs fan. Drafted 69th overall in 2023, Fowler had one of the nicest seasons of any goalie prospect. Fowler went September 3rd, 27 with five shutouts and a .921 save percentage with Youngstown in the regular season. The Phantoms looked ready for a successful playoff run where Fowler saved his best hockey of the year. He went 8-1-0 with a shutout, a .952 save percentage and 1.36 goals against average. Good to pick up the Clark Cup and playoff MVP honors. His numbers allowed him to take home the top goaltender award, something often reserved for older goaltenders. Fowler was the sixth goaltender taken in 2023 and the first of three by Montreal. It was part of an inherent strategy by the team's management to stack up on a position that didn't have a high-end prospect beforehand. For now, Samuel Montembeau and Jake Allen should lead the team, and they also acquired Casey DeSmith from Pittsburgh in the Eric Carlson trade. After that, Caden Primo doesn't look like the answer while Jacob Dobes is a solid depth piece to have in the organization. In the short term, they have options, but down the road, they'll need the guy. And many scouts think Fowler could be that based on his successful junior career. It's still quite early, but he'll have a chance to shine on a Boston College team that has Cutter Gauthier, Will Smith, Gabriel Perrault, and Ryan Leonard, among others. And that should bode very well for his development. He's going to be a workhorse for BC, a scout said, and he deserves it. His body of work at Youngstown was among the best we've seen in years from a draft-eligible USHL goaltender. College is a whole other animal from junior, but Fowler is ready for it. It's always funny seeing a Canadian's prospect playing in Boston, but Fowler isn't thinking too much about it. The only things that matter now to him is getting his feet wet with the Eagles and hopefully leading them to a national title. There's the concern that maybe he had too many easy nights with a stout roster in front of him in Youngstown. But make no mistake about it. Fowler deserves a lot of credit for stealing wins throughout the season. He also was excellent en route to the United States, winning the World Junior A Challenge in December. After a good run at the Summer Showcase earlier this month, Fowler should at least serve as backup to Trey Augustine at the 2024 World Juniors and maybe challenge for the starters gig in 2025. Canadians fans will be keeping a close eye on Fowler this year, especially since the on-ice product for the big club will be difficult to watch again. But that's all part of the plan, and the Habs are in it for the long run. They're rebuilding one piece at a time. Their current strength is on the blue line, but Cole Caulfield, Nick Suzuki, and Jiraj Slavkovsky is a solid starting point. The one major thing missing was a top-flight goaltender. So is Fowler the solution? He has the makings of an NHL starting goalie, no question about it, a scout said prior to the NHL draft. The athleticism, decent size, he's athletic, he has a good head on his shoulders, his raw skills are there, and he'll have good competition in college. Goalies can be an absolute mystery. Let's not forget all the early career struggles Price went through. If the fan base had its way in 2010, Jaroslav Halak would have been the man going forward. But there's a lot of hype surrounding Fowler's future, and there's no question he's the top dog in the system right now. So patience is needed with Fowler. But he's the best goaltending prospect the team has had in some time now. If all works out, this could be a huge get for a Canadian's team with a bustling prospect pipeline. Thank you to watching another Habs Nation video. But before we leave, we invite you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the channel, and finally let us a comment about this video. And remember, you have greatness inside of you, and we wishes you an amazing, great, and blessing day.